Hello everyone, Marek Mulacic here and welcome to this new video, another video and this time we're going to have a look at this amazing new feature scary and slash unbelievable feature generative fill uh, which uses AI to generate content or expand the images uh, this is available in Photoshop Beta so, and I'm, you may have seen some examples in the, in the online as well. <clears throat> so I'm going to just show you some of them in here. Uh, for example, I'm going to start with this image here and say, if I just unload this layer and I want to make it bigger, so I'm going to use a crop tool. I'm just going to, I don't want to use any aspect ratio, just want it to be maybe taller and wider as well. Okay, and then we're going to see how the generative fill can work on that. So I'm going to make a selection with the rectangular marquee tool. I'm actually going to select this image and I'll leave a few pixels inside to use. Then I'm going to inverse the selection. So I'll select inverse. Okay. And I'll hit generative fill. <coughs> I'm going to leave it as it is. And I'll just click generate to see what this is going to do. How it's going to deal with the jumper uh, on, the, on this guy and what about his head as well. <clears throat> I mean, the background isn't too complex, but what about him? Do, 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 do. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Now, I haven't done this before on these images, by the way. Wow, wow, wow. That's, that's unbelievable. Now, look at that. Wow, wow, wow. That's... That's awesome. That's awesome. And let's have a look at some examples here. So this is example number one. This is number two. And this is number three. Which number three looks quite interesting. I would say, well, I'm not exactly happy about the background on example number three here, but his jumper, I mean him, that looks great. But I actually quite like the example number one as well. Now that's that's awesome. That's awesome. Wow, 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 wow. Okay. Now <clears throat> let's try something a bit more complex, a bit more busy. This image in here. So let's have a look at this one. So I'm going to unlock it, use the crop tool, make it again, or make it taller and wider as well. You know, maybe a little bit more this time, maybe something like that. Rectangular marquee tool. We'll make a selection here like this. We'll inverse it. Select inverse. Generative fill and generate. <coughs> let's see, let's see, let's see what is it going to do this time. Caution, caution, caution. Tra la 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 la. I'm so curious to find out what's going to happen here. Like curious George. Wow, wow, now the bottom looks perfect, left hand side, I mean that's, that's amazing, right hand side, now look at this tree here, I mean if you zoomed in really close then maybe you could see something but this looks unbelievable and this tree here which was added, that's absolutely unbelievable. Can you believe that? <laughs> that's that's amazing. Wow. That's that's awesome. Now that's amazing. Now there are a couple of versions here as well. So version number two. That's actually quite interesting as well. And version number three. Uh, very, very good. But I actually quite like the version number one. I also look at how these houses here. So this was number one. Now the original was like this. Now how does it know where this all goes? Now that's unbelievable. Kudos for, to Adobe. Now uh, that's amazing, really. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> uh, okay, let's have a look at another one. Now here, uh, let's maybe try to change the background. So let's make a quick selection of the lasso tool. Just a normal lasso. 
put it quite roughly around here. Maybe I should have expanded the canvas as well. But let's see first. If we try to do this, and then we do select inverse, uh, generative fill, uh, what shall we do here? Oh, 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 I don't know, let's see. What if we do like concert? Would it do anything? Concert? She said the concert? No idea. <clears throat> Maybe my selection was also a little bit, a bit too big, but let's see, let's find out. How it's going to, or what it's going to do, is it going to do anything at all? <coughs> I've seen. S uh, so, concert maybe not the best idea. Okay, maybe let's try something else. Let's try maybe, let's see, I don't know, street? <coughs> maybe she's on the street? Let's see if it's going to come up with any ideas here. I've seen some examples where people were typing some words and it wasn't doing anything. Mm -hmm. So nothing really here. This one did something. Okay. So this one, I don't know, something maybe? I don't know. Um, weird? Interesting? I don't know. Maybe it's because it's the plain background. Let's try one more. So let's do, so say, for example, if I go back, and maybe this selection should be a bit... Uh, so in this case, I'll need to expand it. I don't know how far... 20 pixels maybe? Maybe even a bit more. Let's do expand... Oh, no, 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 no. <clears throat> Just want to expand it. Uh, maybe another 30 pixels. And uh, let's try... Maybe... What was I thinking? Uh, I don't know, so street didn't seem to... Let's try street again and see what's going to happen. <clears throat> if it's going to work, or is it going to do anything? Is it because the background is plain? I haven't seen other people using plain background, usually, so I'm not sure. Not really, not really, no. Okay, let's try maybe this image here. And so I'm going to make a selection here at the bottom of the image. And maybe we could put a like in here. So we could do lake or let's say mountain lake. Is this going to do anything? Mountain lake. And I tried to make the selection not perfect to see what's going to happen. <laughs> come on, come on, come on, come on. Wow, 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 wow. That's good, that's good, that's good. They left a little bit of there, but that actually looks quite good. This one, oh, wow, I love this one. I love this one. This is amazing. Now, I love this one. Now, this is amazing. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, let's do another one. Let's do the sky. I know people normally do northern lights <laughs> when you look at some other videos. But how about if we do maybe... What if we do night sky? What this is going to do... Also, with the foreground. Is it going to do anything with the foreground? Is Because I assume it's going to make the sky dark. But what about the rest of the image? <coughs> if not, we can try Northern Lights like everyone else. <laughs> wow! Wow, I love that! I love that! That's amazing! And this one? Oh! I think I like this one even more! And that one? Now, of course! They do start looking a little bit uh, different, a little bit artificial in a way, but still, that looks amazing. That looks amazing. What about if we add like a hut in here, maybe? So maybe there, if we do like a mountain hut. Let's do mountain hut, maybe. Or like a hut, a wooden hut. 
Let's see if it's going to do anything. Come on, come on, come on. Let's have a mountain heart in here. In our scene. Now, obviously, as you can see, it didn't do the night at the bottom, but no, that's actually impressive. That's actually impressive. This one here. And I guess maybe I should do here night sky as well, <laughs> just to make this look more natural. Well, natural in a way. And to see if it's going to try to match it to the top of the image. What is it going to do? Let's see. Again, I haven't tried this one before, so I'm just trying it fresh, just coming up with some ideas to see what is going to happen. Night sky coming. Yes, yes. I mean, this, I'm not sure. <laughs> that's actually quite interesting. That's what is it, a scarecrow? <laughs> that's quite interesting. Ooh, ooh. Now that's not exactly night sky, but I do like it. I have to say, I do like it. And these lights, so you can see, it's like night, and there's like another house here. Let's now, now, I love that. Now this, that's amazing. That's brilliant. Wow. So here's just some examples, some ideas. What Adobe Photoshop can do now with generative fill. <laughs> Experiment, try out different ideas and enjoy. <laughs> okay, that's, that's it for me. I'm Marek Mulacic from MarekMulacic.com. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching and see you soon in another video. Thank you for watching. Bye bye for now.